In this video, you will learn to verify hyper IPs are communicating, adjust the hyper IPs to your network, and confirm traffic is running through hyper IP. This video assumes you have configured your hyper IPs, connected the data ports to the network, and the UDP port 3919 is allowed through your firewall. In this video, we will be verifying communication between Hyper IP Arsenal and Hyper IP Yankees. We will also tune Hyper IP to the link and transfer data between Server Fulham and Server Mets. Log in to Hyper IP using a web browser. View current license status. Display the Hyper IP's current state by clicking the Service Apply button. In the Hyper IP Sessions output, you should see Active Displayed. This indicates the two Hyper IPs are communicating. Any display other than Active means that Hyper IPs are not ready to move data. You cannot complete verification if the Hyper IP current state is not active. If the Hyper IPs are just being restarted, it may take a few seconds for them to sync. Execute the Display Hyper IP State command again. If the Hyper IPs are still not communicating, check the items on the list. You may want to use the Hyper IP configuration video as a reference. When the Hyper IP session state is active, navigate to the Diagnostic Commands page to run link verification tests. Select a remote site target in the drop-down menu and click the Measure Hyper IP Path button. Wait for the results on the right side frame. This test does a variety of data transfers to test the round-trip time, total bandwidth, and bandwidth currently available between the Hyper IPs. Due to the timing used to determine bandwidth, the Hyper IPs cannot be sending traffic when this test is run. Review the results to verify the round trip time, total, and available bandwidth are what you expect for this link. In this case, my link has a delay of 20 milliseconds, approximately the distance between Chicago and New York, available bandwidth of 250 megabits per second, and total bandwidth of 1 gigabit per second. That is correct for my network. To ensure Hyper IP does not overdrive the available bandwidth, Set the rate schedule by selecting Bandwidth Schedule in the right drop-down menu. Select Any for the day, month, and date. Leave the start time at 0 and the end time at 2400. Type the desired bandwidth, select the site name, and click Add Rule. Hyper IP will always use the highest number valid rule in the event of an overlap. The next test will examine a range of data sizes and nominate which is most suitable for this network. We will run this test to determine the largest segment size which can pass through the network and then which of those segments provides the best throughput. In the first run of this test, change the start size to 1000 and the megabytes per pass to 1. Click Start Seg Test to begin the test. Click on Retrieve Seg Test Results button to view the results. If this test appears to be taking an extremely long time, clicking on Kill Seg Test will stop the test. Typically, needing to stop the test is due to the network not allowing fragmented packets. To send a full IP packet without fragmentation, use your interface MTU size minus 116 bytes for the seg size. For example, with a 1500-byte MTU, set the seg size to 1384 bytes. If the test completed, all test segment sizes can pass between hyper IPs. Run the segment size test again and adjust the megabytes per pass so each pass will run at least 60 seconds. A handy guide is to use the hyper IP key or rate limit, whichever is lower, and multiply it by 10. In this configuration, our rate limit is set to 100 megabits per second, so we will use 1000 megabytes per pass. This test runs in the background and should take approximately 15 minutes to complete. 
When the test completes, it will show a suggested segment size. Our suggested segment is 32,000. Select Configure N by N in the right drop down menu. On the right hand frame, look for the blue text box at the bottom of the page. Identify the line defining the remote site and change the seg size to the suggested value. Click on the New Config button and confirm to enter the change. Verify the new seg size setting. After a configuration change, the sites will be halted. In the Start Halt Remote Sites area, select the remote site and Start Site in the drop down menus and click State Command. Show any restarts necessary to implement changes by selecting Show Pending Restarts in the drop down menu and clicking Service Apply. Execute the restart or reboot. When the Hyper IPs are restarted, display Hyper IP state and verify Hyper IPs are active. This Hyper IP is now tuned for the network to the remote site. Run the test to any remaining sites and from the remote Hyper IPs.